Hello YouTube, I'm Steel Wheels Down. YouTube wants me to make a trailer video so that you know what my channel is all about. Well, the problem is, I don't really have a particular theme in my channel. But hey, welcome to the YouTube trailer park. I started this channel mainly because I've been on this planet for a good few years and I've learned some things that I think might help others. And every once in a while I'll think of something funny and I want to share that too. And um, for a long time I was always in the back of my mind thinking, gosh, if only I had a class full of people that I could teach what I know, then that'd be great. And then all of a sudden I said, you know what? Microsoft Windows has a movie maker. It's free. YouTube is out there. It's free. Why don't I just put them on YouTube? And thus was my little YouTube career born. I know I haven't put very much content on my channel. I'm sorry about that. I may put some uh, additional things up there like a product review or two or commentary or something like that. Uh, my commentary may rub people the wrong way, but... You know, there are people who dislike some of my uh, electronics videos. I've got my fair share of dislikes and disagreements and stuff like that. So it's all good, you know. I just want to get this out there for people to see. One thing that I would like to say is, I think that the way we are being taught advanced science, physics, and electronics is kind of the wrong approach. Because... Currently, they only teach you advanced physics and electronics only after you have mastered calculus and statistics and a whole bunch of other stuff. And the problem with that is it makes teaching mathematics very difficult. I mean, I'm sure we've all been at a point where you, as a student you go, okay, dude, so I can find the area under a curve. Why? And it's not until several years later that you learn why, how this affects the real world. And uh, because it makes math very difficult to learn, that means that a lot of people will drop out of, of science before they get to the really fun science. Now, one thing about teaching science is, teaching science like Sciences like uh, mechanics, you know, classical mechanics, you know, with masses and pendulums and gravity and all that stuff. Well, actually, you can teach that without math because you can see the mass and the pendulum and all that stuff. With electronics, you can't really see what's going on. And that means it's very difficult to teach electronics, the traditional method. So people miss out on a lot until they've, they've got that mathematics training down. And I don't think that's right. I think we need to change the way we teach so that uh, advanced math and advanced physics are taught kind of at the same time. So you'll learn, you know, the, the uh, say, the derivative of sine x and stuff like that. And then they start going into how that's used in electronics and stuff. So, you know, I think, I think that would be a better thing to do. I'm not a college professor, and I know you'd have to revamp freaking everything if you're going to teach that way. But I really think that's got to be the way of the future. Anyway, I was speaking about uh, having my share of dislikes before on my, my uh, videos. I know that there's some people that don't like the way that I present my material. And uh, that's fine, because I made this so that uh, people would have a different perspective on things. Some people might be helped, some people might not be. Um, all I am is different. I'm not particularly brilliant in any way. Um, I recall though that uh, at one point I got into kind of an amusing flame war in one of my transistor videos and uh, this guy would comment back and forth and I would reply and he would reply and I would reply and it, it was uh, not only was he confused about a few things, he took uh, every opportunity to call me eight different kinds of stupid. So, typical internet hater. Now, YouTube doesn't really uh, allow the comments to be sorted by thread very well, so 
it, it's it's just silly to have a flame war in there because it's it's impossible to read. So I deleted most of the comments out of there. It's, there's no point in putting them on, but I'll I'll put the text in the uh, description of this video if you want to see it. It's kind of you know it's kind of what it is. However, let me read you the last comment in the flame war because I basically told him, you know, nothing I say is going to be believed by you, so I'm not going to argue with you, okay? You just take your opinion and you keep it. The final comment in this video was from him, and it goes, Okay, I've looked at some of your other videos, and I don't care for your oversimplification of everyday electronics terminology. I understand you're trying to teach people, but you may be confusing more people than helping. Instead of saying a transistor is a variable resistor, how about saying it's a valve or something of that nature? Most people who get involved with electronics are not stupid, and you should present material without fear of insulting the dumb ones. Let them take up another subject. I reject that completely. What kind of a thing to say is that? Let the dumb ones do something else. Electronics is difficult to teach. And there are a lot of smart people that just aren't getting it because it's very difficult to wrap your head around the concepts. It needs to be taught differently. That's the whole reason I'm putting up my videos. And I hope it helps teachers. I hope it helps students. And that's really all I'm about. I should say at this juncture that there are some people who don't like my style of teaching. I've tried teaching just basic stand up in front of a chalkboard video or stuff like that and it, it just wasn't working. It was boring. I didn't get across the points I wanted to make. So I record my videos like this. You'd say, well I want to learn about this. And I say, well let's not talk about that. Let's talk about this over here. And when you have something like this, when you do this, you get that. And then once you get that, you introduce this other subject in there. And when you consider how these things are, EVERYTHING YOU KNOW IS WRONG! <laughs> I know that may rub people the wrong way, but that's the way I'm going about it. Sorry if you're not entertained. Anyways, Steel Wheels Down is out. Thanks for watching.